Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Boat Crew. We're going to be doing a little bit more of this game, considering how well you guys liked the first video. We're currently parked off of Lunga, because I have received intel that a hostile force is inbound. There is an assault force targeting Lunga. So I'm waiting here, patiently. I can activate the radar to get a bit more visual, and considering I'm not in the range of Savo, that shouldn't really cause any issues. If, however, you keep your radar or your transmission active while you are, for example, in the area of Savo, well, they'll let you know about it, because your alert level is going to go up, and at some point they'll dispatch a force to hit you. Seeing as I scouted out a few more of the islands over here, uh, or a few more of the bases that the Japanese have, I now have a bit more of my resource budget. So that means I can adjust my loadout, and I have found an interesting opportunity. You see, I can get rid of both of my turreted guns. So I can remove this. I can remove that. Because these are just the 1919 machine guns, right? It's a .30 caliber machine gun. What if we go for something a little bigger? Because for 4,500 points, I can get a 20 millimeter Urlikan. I'm not sure if this is quite as strong in the game as the other guns. It has a splash damage of 32 and an impact damage of 48. I don't believe that the machine gun over here is going to, well, get anywhere close to that. I mean, 10, 10. The reload and rate of fire on these guns is going to be far better. Because you're getting a 650 RPM with a 2 second reload. You're not going to quite get that with the Ehrlichan. But, well, if I do about 4 up to almost 5 times the damage, I can probably make do. So, we're going to wait for this task force. And we're going to get them a very warm welcome with our new 20mm Ehrlichan. Just as I am patrolling between Pavuvu, Savo, and Lunga, waiting for that invasion force, I do get a notification that there are friendlies inbound to Ulawa. That's over here. If I want to join this force, that means I'll probably not be able to defend Lunga. So I can either help my allies push, or I can try and help defend, but I cannot do both. You only get one squadron. And it's not like you can just manage forces and say, I want to have one squadron over here and another one over there. You are one squadron of torpedo boats. You're going to have to make a decision. My decision right now is to try and let my allies handle Ulawa, because potentially gaining a place is great. Uh, not losing a place is probably better. And this might be where loss aversion comes in. We'll have to wait and see. Now, unfortunately, because I'm over here, I can't even see what's going on at Ulawa. Um, at some point, you might see some fighting going on there in the form of a couple... There we go. A couple of uh, attack points and defend points. Right now, it doesn't look like we're doing too well. But, hopefully, as more boats arrive there, we might be able to get... There! Boom! Olawa captured. Very nice. Now, with that, we're going to be gaining points. And you can see that it has a plus 75, so there is definitely more coming in. Constantly blue lines are appearing here, so we are definitely getting more reinforcements to the bases, and it looks like they're all forming up at Hada. Maybe they're going to head over and attack one of these islands or these bases over here. For now, my position remains clear. Defend Lunga. Looks like the assault force has arrived. Something is spotted on the edge of my radar range, and it is instantly alerting to the fact that I have my radar operational. Um... Let's turn the radar off. I now know that they're coming. I'm going to maintain my position close to Lunga and see if there is a possibility that some base defenses will help me out. I really hope so because I'm just two torpedo boats and I might have an Ehrlichan, but I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. What do we have? We have a couple of motor torpedo boats and a couple of Sukhautai. I'm not sure what those are, but they look to be patrol boats. Um, I only got two Higgins. Let's go. Nighttime offensive. Here we are. So, let's have a look. There they are. There they are. I now have to keep in mind that my firepower is concentrated on the back of the boat. So, I'm going to have to make sure that I sail in some maneuver that actually allows me to use those things. Because otherwise, well, I mean the bow mounted machine guns were nice. But I think I got a lot more firepower with this thing. Range wise... I'm not sure if it's going to be that big of an improvement, but we'll see how well this goes. Here we go, we've probably been made. Light him up. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a lot more firepower 
than those 1919s, the 30 cals. This 20 millimeter eats these things. It looks like my ally. Unfortunately, I can't see the stats on my ally. I don't know how healthy they are. It looks like that torpedo boat, though, has its own level of issues. Uh, the enemy, that is. Yep, patrol boat sunk. Double kill. That's a river boat. I don't think these things really have a ton of firepower. So they're not that dangerous to me as is. And that means that it looks like the base over here, for now, is safe. Let's angle a bit. Somebody's bringing ammo to the 20 mil. There we go. One more. At this rate, I can very quickly reinforce the firepower on this boat. You can definitely see that it runs out of ammo pretty quick. But when it does hit... Oh boy. It really works. So, that's, uh, I'd say, a successful test of the 20 mil. And considering we got no indicator for the amount of damage that I've taken, uh, I probably didn't take a whole bunch of damage. So, let's see. That defends Lunga quite nicely. Uh, I was expecting a bit more free budget after that, because I did destroy the task force. But I guess it just wasn't that much. Right. Oh, hold on. There's more. Alright. Let's go. If you want to do more, we'll do more. Time to get rid of that second wave. We got a nice little boat over here isolated. Can take this guy out pretty quick. This is one of those times that I do want to hunt him down, so I'm not afraid to push the engine and get rid of this guy quick, so that not everybody happens to engage me at once. That thing's out of range. And my crew are taking a few hits. That's one. Is this guy sinking? Yeah, that doesn't look too healthy of a position for a boat to be in. You're gone. Next. That was a bit of friendly fire. I'm not sure if that's a thing in this game, actually. You can actually hit each other. You're gone. Yep. Small patrol boat dead. Double kill. So there's two more. What I'm really waiting for is the invasion fleet. Because right now, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. But you don't just do, like, a couple of patrol boats on an attack. I imagine that you do a bit more. You send marines, for example. You send transport ships. You send landing ships of some variant of another. So where is the real threat? Where is the real attack? Is this? Looks like either the escorts or the prelude, but it's definitely not the main dish. Ooh, aircraft. What we got there? First time we're engaging aircraft. There it is. Out of range, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a bunch of aircraft at the moment. We're getting strafed. Come on. Reloading. I'm about to run out of ammunition. Ignore it. Come on. Save the ammo, we don't have a ton. Get this guy. Yep, zero's taken out. Whoa. Calm down. This guy's getting a little tricky to target. I think I'm down to my last round of ammo. Has my ally been sunk? Yeah, I think there are no further allies. No thank you. Damn it. I need to try and get out of here. But how do you escape a couple of aircraft? Ow. <clears throat> I need to get that strafing indicator so I can see exactly when they're coming down right now. Okay, we're gonna get out of the way. Ideally, we're gonna try and take this zero down. Got one. Okay, that was like two shots. Direct hit. I think that's it. Either the last one bugged off, or we did manage to get them all. Unfortunately, it did look like we uh, might have lost an ally. Yeah. Crap. <clears throat> that's expensive. 
that is really quite expensive. Because these guys cost me 1,200. There we go. Task Force destroyed. Is there more? Not right now. Excellent. So it looks like the defense of Lunga has been successful. Um, Budget-wise, I don't feel like it was a great success, considering that we took, uh, well, the loss of the squadron, or at least half the squadron, and I don't feel like I got a whole lot in return. Like, I didn't get any RP for that, which surprises me. Oh, there's more. Now what? It is 5.15 a.m., so it is starting to get daylight. Maybe they're trying to do the landings by day? And this was just the prelude. Bring it, gentlemen. What have we got here? More? This time there's nine of them. Okay, let's have it out then. Sadly, it's a, a 1v9 at this point. So, hit and run. Take a few down. Make sure that we get a bunch of damage in. And bug off. Because we probably don't have enough ammunition to do the whole fight. Right now, there don't seem to be any zeros. Which is really good, because I don't have enough ammo to take down both the patrol boats and the Zeros. I mean, we just cut it real close in that last fight. And it definitely goes to show that I need more ammo or more guns, or preferably both. So taking down nine of these things might be a stretch. Here we go, time to engage. We've been spotted. Open up. Just make sure you conserve ammo. Good one. Next. Now a one versus eight. We're leveling the odds. Get him. That ought to do it. Run. Got one. One versus seven. I'm not sure if you can force a reload in this game, and I'm not sure if I want to. Because even those two shots can make a difference. Get him. There. Oh, this guy first. Now they're all charging me. That moment to reload. That's probably two kills. Come on. The engine's starting to get a little haw here. One. Half ammo. Whoa! Shit, the zeros are back. That ought to do one. Now the next. Get him. Yep, a couple of good hits there. I was not expecting company like this, and I don't like it. No, only when they're trying to fl uh, strafe me. Now. Only when they're flying directly at me. Shit, we're reloading. Ah, time. <clears throat> no, no, don't worry about that one. Get this guy. We're running so low on ammo. This is getting really concerning. There's one incoming. Get him. Swing that gun around. Shit. Lost the opportunity. I think this guy's gonna be next. We're wasting so much ammo here. Yeah, you can take this guy down. That might have done it. No, it didn't. Okay, we're gonna call in a support. We are gonna call in a support. We're gonna call in a wildcat. If I remember how to do that. Whoa! Come on. Nice. That was a zero elite. You also want to have a go? Double kill. Okay, and now get opportunity to call in a lot of guys. So we're going to call in the Wildcats. Considering that I probably have like one round of ammunition left. The Wildcats are going to have to do the strafing of their torpedo boats for me. I don't have the firepower. Oh, they're also targeting the zero. There's the zero. And my wildcats over there are making a go. Nice. 
Now, considering that I can leave, I think it is in my best interest to leave. I have done all I can with the ammunition that I have. We're going to have to go back to Lunga, get the ammo real quick, and then re-engage. But for now, I need to run. And thankfully, I can do that faster than they can. Still, I'm not getting any additional RP, which still greatly confuses me. There we go. We got RP again. Oh, sorry, we got ammo. And now there is just five of these guys left. Let's go. There's the whole bunch. Right there. Now, right now, I cannot call in any of the wildcats because at the moment I don't have budget for that. I don't mean to have RP budget, but the way that this game works is when you score those points, it's not necessarily RP that you're getting, but it's like um, in battle points that you can call in wildcats with or dauntless or even artillery, depending on what your needs are going to be. Right now, I think if those zeros show back up, uh, a wildcat is going to be more useful. And it can also strafe. A Dauntless, maybe? But I suspect it's going to be more useful when it comes to dealing with, for example, destroyers. Which, thankfully, at this point, we have not yet seen. Because destroyers can be downright scary. It's not something you can easily engage in a PT boat. Because the destroyer is pretty much the predator that goes after you. You are the prey if you're in a torpedo boat. And yes, I do have torpedoes. I can make a run at the destroyer. But keep in mind that I have a .20 or I got a 20mm, they have a 127mm gun. Or, well, most of the time. First though, these guys. And let's hope that they do not call for backup. Yep, that is a flare. I'm not sure if the flare is something they use to communicate with their aircraft. I would find that rather confusing. But hey, it's a game. It might be a game mechanic. I can definitely hear an aircraft, though. Come on, sink this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all here. Okay, we got company. Lots of it. Target one of the incomings. There's no shortage of those. Go! Speed up. That's one zero lead down. Get the ammo in the gun, please. Yeah, you just can't attack these when they're charging or when they're moving away from you. You gotta take them on when they're head on. Gun reloaded. Don't care for that one. Care for the incoming one. Swing the gun around. Yes. That's at least one hit. Bit of damage that we've taken has been repaired. Here it comes. This one. Now. Hit. Another one. Oh, we're reloading. Damn it. You can see just how much these zeros are keeping me busy, because I'm getting completely distracted from really the main objective, which is to take down that invasion group. Got one. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Engine temperature mostly stable. Incoming. This is the target. Get him. Beautiful. Next. This one. Yes. Double kill. So now I can call in a Dauntless with a thousand pound bomb. It's a substantial amount of firepower. Get him. Are we reloading again? I'm going to have to get used to that reload. Don't worry about it. This thing will come round again. We got a whole two rounds ready for him. Should be fine. Bring it, dude. Got him! <laughs> With two rounds. Isn't that glorious? Alright. <clears throat> We're back in the fight. Taking down, what, five zeros? Um, that's not where I parked my car. Let's go after the rest of the assault units. Not that many of them left. Let's see if they want to still be brave, considering what happened to their aircraft. Here we go, just four more. 
Unfortunately, I'm down to my last can of ammo. So I hope that my gunner doesn't waste too much. Which is exactly what he happens to be doing. We got three rounds left and then we're completely dry. Do we have one can? Yeah, we got one can left. Okay, go. Get him! Oh, we took it down. I guess it did take enough damage. Double kill, even. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, there's one left. And I have no ammo. Let's call in a wildcat and see if he can take it down for me. There's the wildcat. Now that torpedo boat, or whatever boat, is working on me. My wildcat, come round and do a strafing run. No, I'm not interested in taking your fire. Thank you very much. There it goes. Strafing run. Oh, you're in trouble there, dude. Yes! Well done. Job done. All enemies eliminated. Thank you, wildcat. Beautiful job. Did I get any points for that? <laughs> no. Task force has been destroyed. Is there more on the way? Maybe. But right now... It looks like we can live to fight, well, another fight, at least for now. So I left Lunga just for a minute. Lunga is coming under attack. So now the de base defense really comes in, because this is when the Type A landing boats have arrived. So now I can land a hand. And I hope that I have enough ammo. Holy shit, I probably do not have enough ammo. That is a lot of targets. Now, we're going to pick out the most important ones, which are probably the landing boats. Without landing boats, there is no landing. And it does seem like the landing boats are all on the right-hand side here. That appears to be them, so we're going to try and run at them. I don't really care for all of these escorts that they got. I mean, if we can take down a few, fantastic. Is it a priority? Not really. I just don't want to have my base just invaded, as they're currently planning. Are these things packing? Probably not. Just a bunch of marines. I do apologize to the marines, but you just cannot be expected to take down my base quite like this. Not if you got a very angry BT boat in the way. With a couple of 20 mils on it. Well, a couple, if only. I'd love a couple of 20 mils on it. These things are really tough, though. There's one down. Go get it. Get the ammo. Two down. I hope that the rest of the base defense is going to hold out for a minute. Because considering how well I'm doing, um, my ammo is running dry. <clears throat> Again. So I love the 20 mil so far. It does fantastic amounts of damage. The problem is, you run out of ammo so fast. I'm going to need more ammo. Come on, get the ammo. Don't just walk. Run. We got places to be and ammo to get. We're also working on the bow of the boat. Shit, we got enemy aircraft. That's gonna make it more fun. Especially considering we got two for eight ammo. Take this thing down. Owie. <laughs> Yeah, we're also getting strafed. If you want to strafe, that's great, but you're going to do it right next to your own boats. Ow. It's like the Ehrlichan doesn't want to fire. There we go, triple, no, double kill, and then the lying boat down. Now we're going to have to do a little bit of <coughs> anti-aircraft operations. And there is still a sizable landing force nearby. Lovely. I'm down to my last couple of rounds. Yikes. Well, you know, I'm going to take down the boats first. Um, there is the aircraft threat. Yes, it's getting pretty serious, this aircraft threat. But aircraft alone cannot invade a base. That's my thinking. If you want to attack a base, you're going to need boats. I don't have any more ammo. I'm going to have to get the hell out of here. I hope that by taking down the landing boats, I'll at least have given the base more of an opportunity to take them down. 
normally this is where you would find base defenses, but it's entirely possible. There's one. Interior battery. It's entirely possible that we've already lost a couple positions. Considering that there are a bunch of zero strafing, and right now I really don't have the points to call in a wildcat. Okay, so the good news is I've disengaged. The bad news is um, I'm not sure if I can get more ammo from this base while it's under attack. And the answer appears to be no. The landing boats have been sunk. And I think the base might hold out. Can I go to Tulagi? Yes, I can go to Tulagi, pick up ammo. And now I can re-engage. <laughs> Give me a minute as I go and get more ammo. <laughs> the fact that you can do this and still continue the fight, I think is hilarious. I mean, it's an action game that doesn't take itself too seriously, which I really enjoy. Uh, link down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And these guys are just patiently waiting here. That's all the better. Kill it. If there's zeros about, we'll take them down too. Yeah, you've probably taken enough damage. I wonder just how much air support these guys will get though. Two down. That ought to sink to the third. Three down. Four down. So that's all the boats. Press backspace to leave. Let's do that. Tulagi has been saved. Did I get any points for that? Absolutely not. I did get a, a territory bonus just from holding territory, but just defending and taking down a lot of defense or taking down a lot of aggressors, seemingly, has done nothing for me, except not lose the base of Lunga. Right. Um, I think that game mechanic might need a bit of work, because yes, I held the base, which gives you territory points, which gives you points, sure, but I took down a lot of fighting units, and I feel like I got nothing for it. So if the devs are paying attention, please work on this, because this feels a little unrewarding, considering the amount of effort I've put in, and the fact that I've lost one of my squadron boats. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more.